The path to redemption for Maximus Decimus Meridius is a deeply spiritual and psychological odyssey that challenges and refines Maximus's understanding of justice, honor, and ultimately, his own humanity. This transformative journey is punctuated by moments of profound loss, introspection, and encounters that reshape his perception of what it truly means to achieve redemption. Initially, Maximus's quest is fueled by a visceral need for retribution against Commodus, the architect of his family's murder and his personal downfall. However, as his journey unfolds within the confines of the gladiatorial arena and beyond, the concept of redemption evolves from a singular focus on vengeance to a broader, more altruistic vision of restoring moral and ethical order to Rome. This shift is not abrupt, but gradual, a testament to Scott's nuanced storytelling and Crow's layered performance. Key to his transformation are the relationships Maximus forms with those around him, from his fellow gladiators to the Roman populace, and even with his adversaries. These relationships serve as mirrors, reflecting back at him the values he fought for as a general and must now embody as a gladiator. Moreover, Scott infuses Maximus's journey with a spiritual dimension that deepens the theme of redemption. Visions of his deceased family and the Elysian fields offer glimpses of a peace beyond the corporeal vengeance he seeks. These visions are not mere escapism, but serve as a poignant reminders of what Maximus ultimately fights for, the chance to reunite with his loved ones in the afterlife. The spiritual aspect of his journey elevates his quest from earthly vengeance to a quest for spiritual cleansing and reconciliation with his past. The path through redemption is also marked by moments of profound moral choice. Maximus is repeatedly faced with decisions that test his integrity and values. His refusal to compromise his principles, even when faced with death, underscores the depth of his commitment to redemption. It is through these choices that Maximus redefines heroism, not as the capacity for violence, but as the strength to uphold justice and truth in the face of overwhelming corruption. Finally, Maximus's redemption culminates in his final confrontation with Commodus. This moment is not just a physical battle, but a symbolic duel between tyranny and virtue, between the corrupt and the righteous vision of Rome. Maximus's victory is bittersweet, achieved at the cost of his life. But it's in this sacrifice that he finds his true redemption. His death is not an end, but a passage to peace, leaving behind a legacy that inspires others to carry forward his vision of a just and honorable Rome. <laughs>